Welcome to Bleachers and Speakers. I'm your host, June. I got my boy, B. Foster, and we bring to you off-season vibes. Definitely off-season vibes. This is the the segment here that Foster is going to talk about, our feature player of the week. And since we in the off-season and had these off-season vibes, we're going to talk about some NFL draft prospects that we feel that would be a nice pickup for the Detroit Lions at uh, 29 or later. Um, Foster, I'm not used to the Lions picking so late. (laughs) It's different. It's definitely different. I I know it's a good thing, but it's like I wish we had one of those top 10 picks. But if you're picking top 10, you're probably not where you want to be as a football team, you know, so more than likely. So, and we've had our we've had our fair share of top ten, top fifteen picks. So, uh, to choose at number twenty nine, and then also you have to look at it like this, Foster at twenty nine, you're not looking for game changers or or French somebody to turn your franchise around if you're picking at twenty nine. You just need Corner, one. cornerstones, yeah, not more. You just, more like just you just looking for some. For a little help, you know what I'm saying? Some diamonds in the rough. And right now, I'm just going to stop. I've been running my mouth. Foster, I'll let you go ahead and have the floor and talk about this prospect that we see, that my viewers see on the screen. And and for our listeners out there, tell them who we're going to talk about today. So today we are talking about, uh, his name is Latu Latu. And he. And I uh, was not going to try to pronounce his name. It does not look like it's spelled. I hope I hope I got it right because I got this kind of you know but but yes more, most importantly um, this is a guy first and foremost this is this is one of the top prospects in the draft this is a guy that projection wise may not necessarily fit into the Lions you know realistic you know a real realistic situation for the Lions but he is an edge rusher that's yeah, that is a position that is uh, very much in need um, so I felt like it was at least worth you know, just, you know, the breakdown just for the chance that maybe he does fall um, too close to us. But he is a uh, edge rusher out of UCLA. He started at Washington. Ironically, this picture, you know, Washington is, you know, the team that he's uh, opposing right now. But he started at Washington and eventually um, he transferred to UCLA. Um, But yeah, he's more of a of a finished product, mature version um, of Chop Robinson, who we talked about previously. Um, he's not so much of a, of a project. He's a little bit older. He's actually 23. He'll be 20. He'll actually be 24 at the end of um, this upcoming season. Um, but, you know, very good size, as you can see. Uh, he's 6'4", 260 pounds, and he's a redshirt junior, I believe. Um, but he has a pro-ready build. He, he's not one of those guys that, that is going to need to get into the weight room. Uh, necessarily to get to where he needs to be he's, you know he's got very um, strong arms as is and his technique is already more uh, refined and then a chop robinson you know he has good hand placement um he has you know you know good secondary moves swim move and he does a good job of shedding blocks and and he's good in run defense as well as getting after the quarterback um and he's got a good motor as well which is very important. And he doesn't lean so much on the physical attributes. Um, is it, one some of the things that people, you know, may be worried about is the fact that he is a fit, he is a um, in his fifth year, fifth year of playing football. Um, and that's due to some injuries that he had. He actually medically had to retire um, while he was at Washington um, due to a, a spinal, I believe a spinal injury. Yeah, spinal cord injury. Um, so he had to sit two seasons, which is why he's a fifth year senior, but only played, I believe, about uh, three seasons actually on the field. So he was at a status of where he may have had to give away football, um, which is why he also ended up being um, a, a, a a comeback player of the year because he went from retired to upper echelon, top notch player. Um, but it, it, to you know, so so definitely his injury his history um, hinders him as far as some of his negatives, and that he doesn't have the the top notch athletic long arms. He's got short, shorter arms. You know, he lacks some speed, um, and sometimes he even over you know even overcommits in some of his technique, which can be 
you know, that's one of those things that you can definitely improve as far as your discipline, as far as that concerned. But, you know, his, 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 um, his, you know, his ability to shed blocks, his, his, uh, his technique and his, and his secondary moves is what he leans on as far as um, his attributes. So overall, his history in college, um, he, he, he had 37 career starts. Um, and in his senior year, he had 26 tackles, 15 sacks, three forced fumbles, and two interceptions. So a very strong uh, senior year, you know, two interceptions off the edge, 15 sacks, top, you know, top-notch statistical-wise. Um, and he led college uh, with a 96.4 uh, PFF rating. And in his last two seasons, had 27 sacks, um, had 27 sacks. So that was uh, first amongst all Power Five edge rushers. Um, he was first team All Pac-12, and once again, comeback player of the year. Which, I mean, how can how can you not? You have, you have uh, 15 sacks in your in your senior season, and you know just two years ago, you were medically considered retired and not able to even get on the field. So. Um, you know, definitely an older guy, but a more of a finished product, more of a guy that I would consider to be every down back, stops the run, gets after the quarterback, and, you know, whoever he drafts, which he likely will, will go in the first 10, the first 15 picks, you know, they're expecting him to be a finished product immediately because he's not 19, 20, 21. This guy's 23 years old. He'll be 24 in December. And, um, he has all the the tools, attributes, and techniques to 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 step on the field and and produce uh, day one. So if for whatever reason, injury, you know, the injuries that he suffered uh, early in his college career, and the fact that he's you know a little bit older and doesn't have the the elite um, physical attributes that a Chop Robinson has as far as arm length, speed. If that causes him to fall, he's a guy that the Lions will be able to call on immediately to put on the uh, on the opposite side of Hutch or, you know, rushing off the outside as a stand up uh, linebacker. As you can see, he's standing up right now. His hand is hands aren't in the dirt, but he but he is six four two sixty and has the size to do that. So um, that's a guy that will be able to plug and play immediately in Detroit if he falls to that um, to that 29, but I would not be surprised if he went earlier. I've seen him as early as number nine to the Bears. So that is um, the featured uh, draft prospect prospect of the week, Latu Latu. Yeah, give it up for LL. I am not. <laughs> there you go. There I'm you go. Not going to it. I mess. I butcher so many names, but hopefully, uh. We can uh, we'll have a, a chance to draft him or someone like him because we need another pass rusher opposite of Hutch. So thanks again, Foster, for that great, great. Uh, you did your homework for that great segment. Uh, and you can check us out on Bleachers and Speakers on YouTube. That's the YouTube channel. Subscribe there. That's a new channel. You can check us out at Motor City Metrics. Subscribe there as well. Peace.